is uh, Ashutosh sir and uh, you are watching this episode so that is a chat with Ajay. Today we are going to uh, learn uh, learn the English language with the Ajay sir. Oh, uh, this is the Pulir sir. Hello sir. Uh, welcome to our channel. So now today we are going to talk about uh, for the speaking for the beginners. So we will we will get the tips from the Pulir sir. So, uh, sir, nowadays uh, we know, you know that uh, you know, English is a universal language, right? But uh, I have seen a problem in the uh, lot of people because they want to learn with uh, English. They they really want to learn with English, but they sometimes what happens is some people can't speak English. So, uh, what do you think about for them? Uh, first, I want to tell you, first of all, that uh, English uh, is a universal language. It's not the problem. But uh, I don't think that uh, English is a very uh, hard language. It is very easy to learn, yeah. and it is also very easy to speak. But there are some tips, or uh, if anyone has a way to learn English, uh, most of the time, uh, what's happened? The students or the people who are, are uh, thinking about that, they know that person is a very fluent. But uh, until and unless we are doing something, some hard work, it is not possible to anyone else. So uh, I think uh, it's very easy. For learn and to speak. Means that practice makes man perfect. Practice makes yeah, man perfect. But yeah. uh, I should say, uh, you know that uh, practice makes man perfect. It's a uh, um, really good. But uh, if you are doing the practice in any manner, so it's not possible, no. So I think that exact practice. That's important. Exact practice makes man perfect. Can you give me the tips to our viewers and our subscribers yeah, yeah. for it? Why not? Uh, First thing uh, I want to tell you that about English language or uh, its uh, background or any language, how we are learning that language. Uh, you are also from Marathi speaker, Hindi speaker also. So can you tell me that uh, you learn that language, you uh, study that language? No, no. I, I, why I, I want to study that? Because I know that it's my mother language. Your mother tongue, no? Yeah. Your mother tongue. So no one can teach you. Yeah. No one teach you that language. Okay. So like that. When and you learn that language because of your surrounding. Okay. So the surrounding is very important. Here the surrounding is now listening. There is a one of the skill of the language. Every language can be learned from the surrounding and listening more and more that words. Okay. So how much you can listen? That is important. Yeah. And so that the listening is the first skill or basic skill to learn any language. Because I want to tell you an example: when you are a kid, or you have seen a lot of kids around you uh, that just eat uh, for uh, so much, uh, so much. So, I think sir, what happens when a small kid is there? That's a three or two year old. So that kid is also speaking his or her mother tongue. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Now. Uh, That he has a knowledge of language. No, because he just so, पता होता है. कि नहीं इसे हम ये कहते हैं उसे वो कहते हैं इसे ऐसे बोलना है उसे वैसे बोलना है. No, क्या करता है वो? वो language कैसे सीखता है? Language सीखता है सिर्फ imitation करके जिसे हम copy कहते हैं. हम जो बोलते हैं बच्चा वही दोहराता है. और जब वो वही वही दोहराता है तो वो जो भी language सुनता है वही language को वो सीख जाता है. That is a very basic. ओके सो क्या होता है कि इसमें अगर एक बच्चा दो या तीन साल में पूरी लैंग्वेज बोलना सीख जाता है बोलना इट्स आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट द राइटिंग आई एम जस्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट स्पीकिंग स्पीकिंग ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ द लिसनिंग सो फर्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट स्किल इज लिसनिंग एंड द सेकंड इज स्पीकिंग सो जितना हम सुनेंगे हाउ मच वी कैन लिसन वी कैन स्पीक फ्लूटली सो द बेसिक इज फर्स्ट लिसन एंड देन स्पीक सो इट्स अ गुड एग्जाम्पल दैट एवरी किड हु कैन स्पीक Any language, so they are only observer. वो observe करते हैं उसके बाद में वो बहुत ज्यादा सुनते हैं उससे क्या repeat करते हैं So repetition is the basic for them. So I think if every student or every person who try to imitate anything, that skills or more and more they can listen, so they can speak easily. सो so, दर्शक आपने देखा है कि जो भी है हमारी लिसनिंग एबिलिटी बढ़ने चाहिए तो हम ज्यादा से ज्यादा सीख सकते हैं जैसे कि हमारे सर ने अभी बताया कि मदर टंग जो है हमें सीखने की जरूरत नहीं पड़ती अपने हमारे वैसे इंग्लिश भी आप सीख सकते हो तो सर एक्चुअली कैन यू टेल मी अबाउट 
where I, uh, I have listened that you are also from the Marathi medium school and uh, what is the journey of, of uh, English speaking problem? Sir, uh, if you are asking me then, so it is something uh, difficult because uh, now just uh, the rural areas or um, yeah. from the beside of my family no one is a learner or a scholar. Yeah. So they are just third and fourth standard pass. Okay, with my parents. So no one uh, are there who can guide me for that. Now what's happened? Ultimately when I am taking the education up to the graduation, but then I am just taking the uh, education, I'm, but I am not a scholar that time. So what is the need of today? I don't know about it properly. But when I turn towards to myself to the post-graduation, that I have thought about that you know, English is a very important thing, a language for the it's official language or any other. So it is. It has a very a lot of importance. So I think that no, I have to build myself for English, and then I try it. But uh, in the first stage, uh, I copied. Copied means uh, we can say by heart. But uh, I didn't success at that time because I learned a lot by heart, by heart, by heart. But uh, at the time of examination, I forgot all the things, <laughs> and so it's uh, uh, my problem. So I can't manage myself with the wires, that method. And after that, uh, sometimes I fail also. And then I think that no, why, why should I do that? Thing? So I try to learn myself, whatever it may be, and I try to write it in my own words, in my own language, in simple language. Though there are so many mistakes, but I try to say. But uh, nowadays you can see me. But I why do you will, uh, you have feel that we have to? Uh, speaking English means uh, English is a very important language. Uh, what, what is the journey of you? That we have to know it. Because our darshan dekhna chahte hain ki aap ki wo bhi kuch seekh sake. Journey ke baare mein kaha gaya hai, so I frankly told you that uh, I was failing to understand her <laughs> and in, in English subject. Okay, no one can uh, miss her. Imagine that, but uh, it's a reality. Then when I was in a uh, Graduation so that time I also failed two times. Miss, not failed, but uh, uh, there are the, some subjects are bad, like okay. English, yeah. English literature. Means in first year. There's a main subject. You have to back. 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 So Ratna, which is the common thing in India. So Ratna market, when the exam got tension, so they all forgot it. So I said that I have done two years. But what happened was that I have kept back two years. But when I realized that you know this is not the matter for me, so after that I left that matter and tried to learn my master and tried to write in my own language. So like this. I learned the English and I haven't any problem that time when I try to write in my own language. So it is very easy for learning a language. And after that, I didn't um, see at my back. And after that, I have completed my graduation, uh, graduation, post graduation. Even the post graduation I have completed within the two years. So mostly it is not possible for the teachers. They try to give the papers, two two papers in a one examination. So mostly they are taking. They, they take that uh, at least uh, two, uh, three to four years for completing their PG in M, M English, okay. And so that, but I have completed it within the two years uh, because uh, I followed the method that just read and try to present it in your in, in my own language. So I haven't had that problem. So actually, sir, uh, uh, what you have said to me that your journey has started and you fell in the uh, particular Hindi subject and now you are the world speaker in English. But uh, I, I, we know that you are the principal of the little little school. So uh, now you have a lot of uh, lot of the responsibility. You are now also the responsible person, um, the responsibility person of the school, of the, of the family of the school. It is something that you have to be a different person of it. So I would like to say that our life is like our Hindi language, our Marathi language. In India, there is a Marathi language and Marathi is similar to Maharashtra in Marathi. Generally, the Hindi language is the main language of the national language. But then also, I have seen a lot of people that there is something that is important in our life. 
means in our official languages also the, all the works uh, should be in the english formality so means uh, actually the city persons means the urban areas people uh, can also manage the all things but i have seen that uh, about the farmers kids so they uh, they are going to convent school but some convent school are just uh, uh, name of convent school because they also don't know the english but what is the reason they are also like that the rural uh, rural students and urban students uh, so there are the convents in the rural area but the schools are only represent but they are not providing the facility to speak in english means they are they are the backward students they are not able to speak english though they are the students of the convent school so uh, so sir let's uh, Uh, we can say like that because you know, this is not the situation uh, only in the rural area, but it is also the situation in the urban area, okay. in the city area. Uh, it is depends on the methods. It depends on the psychology. It depends on the thinking of that school teachers and the parents also. Because uh, only the one thing is not responsible for that. If the school want to create the student. who can speak english so they can but the teachers are the main factors there so as i told you more and more listening can be a product of the well speaker so the basic is hum bachcho ko kitna english mein bolte hain bachcho ke sath hum classroom mein kitna english bolte hain hum premises mein kitna english bolte hain hum office mein kitna english bolte hain so when we start to speak in english in every corner of the school so students listen more and more english words more and more sentences of english and when they listen so their listening ability will be developed and i told you that kids also and try to repeat sentences so what happen when they try to repeat the same sentences that time they try to speak up so ultimately they understand and ultimately they try to speak so one year you can you uh, change that atmosphere of english so after that it is possible all the students uh, try to speak in english okay it's not compulsory but we have to change that atmosphere okay? if we change the atmosphere so it is very easy okay but sir actually generally that is also depend on the teachers We, when we will speak means that is the surrounding means listening ability that is a different on only the listening ability yeah to so, uh, more we, they will listen the more they will learn learn right so uh, but they also if uh, so, some person have want to talk want to speak english to uh, how can you give, uh, give us some tips for yeah. that yeah, for, the, for the beginners for the beginners uh, or who try to speak in english I want to tell you that uh, a very simple exercise that you can do at your home. There is no need of the anyone else. In simple, and within a month, that kid or that student is able to speak in English. Anyone. There are some tips. So first tip that is when you are uh, at home, that time try to read English words. Now. For reading, we can use the newspaper, any textbook. At least ten minutes daily. At least ten minutes daily. You have to read anything, any matter in English only, and allow. Read it allow. आपको थोड़ा जोर से जैसे दूसरों को सुनाई दी जाए ऐसे लैंग्वेज में बोलना है. Now uh, this uh, reading skill is important because your tongue, which is not habituated with a particular language or foreign language or English language. सो so, जो आपकी टन को एक आदत हो जाएगी रीडिंग से एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम वी आर स्टॉप वी कैन नॉट रिमेम्बर द वर्ड्स बिकॉज आर टन एंड आर माइंड इज नॉट हैबिचुएट टू यूज द इंग्लिश वर्ड्स सो जब रीडिंग आप करोगे तो रीडिंग में क्या होता है कि आपको आपके टन को और आपके माइंड को एक आदत हो जाती है इंग्लिश वर्ड्स बोलने की मिस योर टन विल बी ट्विस्टेड टू स्पीक दो वर्ड्स ओके सो डेली यू हैव टू रीड द इंग्लिश टेक्स्ट allow is the first tip second tip that's uh, second problem that is mostly uh, we are stop that the particular words we can't remember remember or remind uh, while speaking the sentences yeah. 
that is the way in other words you go and again yes okay so words they cannot remember so it, it's a very easy way to remember the words i am not telling that uh, this you have to buy hard those words there is no need of the buy hard automatically those words comes in your mouth but for the practice so how we can do the practice the practice is very simple every day miss for a week first day you try to draw the five words how many five, five words write its meaning in english okay the second day you have to uh, uh, at least draw the ten words okay when the, the ten words are there so that time the same procedure is there but earlier five words and today's ten words you have to read again means total 15 words 15 words after the third day again you can write down the 15 words okay mm-hmm. 15 words and that when you write down the 15 words just read it but the condition is early 15 words are sorry means 15 15 30 30 words okay means every day like this you have to add we have five words, words. Yeah. okay means uh, 15 to again 20, 20. but the uh, earlier 30 so piche ke aapko jitne bhi words nikalne hote padhna hai read karna hai aapko learn nahi karna hai bahar nahi karna hai aapko sirf kya karna hai padhna hai daily it is called a repetition यस yes. और जब हम रिपीटेशन करते हैं तो ऑटोमेटिकली जो वर्ड्स होते हैं वो हमारे दिमाग में बैठ जाते हैं ओके सो ऐसा आपको एक हफ्ता करना है ठीक है एक हफ्ते में आपके जितने भी वर्ड्स होते हैं वो आपने पूरे पढ़ लिए यानी हर वर्ड्स को आपने सात या आठ बार रिपीट किया है डेली अभी क्या होगा कि नेक्स्ट वीक जैसा आएगा तो आपको फिर से फाइव से शुरू करना है फिर से बट द सेम टाइम यू हैव टू रीड द अर्लियर वर्ड्स ओके ठीक है तो इससे क्या होगा कि हम हर वर्ड्स को रिपीट करते हैं पढ़ते हैं कंटिन्यूसली पढ़ते हैं रोज पढ़ते हैं तो आपको उसमें से अगर आप अगर एक एवरेज पकड़ा जाए तो आपको 50 परसेंट भी वर्ड्स अगर आपके दिमाग में बैठ जाते हैं सो यू कैन आई थिंक इन अ वीक यू कैन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट मोर देन वन थर्टी वर्ड्स ओके सो वन थर्टी वर्ड इज नॉट सो विद इन अ मंथ यू हैव मोर देन फाइव हंड्रेड वर्ड्स सो फाइव हंड्रेड वर्ड्स में से अगर आपको फिफ्टी परसेंट भी याद रहते हैं so you have a lot of vocabulary in your hand so that can be utilized in speaking english so this is one of the tips and you can do at your home very easily yes so yes. third tip that is uh, you know that uh, hesitation yes uh, it's a very important very important hesitation now hesitation here kya hota hai dar lagna ki mai kya bolu mai wrong to nahi hu तो इसके लिए मैं आपको एक बात बताता हूँ कि कोई भी चीज अगर सीखना है कोई भी लैंग्वेज सीखना है तो जब तक हम मिस्टेक्स नहीं करेंगे तब तक हम सीख नहीं सकते हो नो वन इज परफेक्ट विदाउट अ मिस्टेक यस ओके सो डू द मिस्टेक व्हाट इज मदे डू द मिस्टेक जितने आप मिस्टेक करना चाहो उतनी करो कोई आपको बोलने वाला नहीं है क्योंकि जितनी मिस्टेक्स करोगे उतना आप सीखोगे अगर हम डरते हैं वी आर हेजिटेड वी आर कमिटिंग अलॉट ऑफ मिस्टेक so we can't learn anything so the theory is do the mistake jitne aap mistake karna chahoge na kyunki earlier or in the beginning at, at or at the very outset we are doing a lot of mistake and we have to do it kyunki hum agar mistake karenge to hum seekh nahi sakte aapne dekha hoga koi bhi skilled worker jo hai jo apna kaam bahut achhe tarike se karta hai to usse bahut se mistake karna hota hai mistake tab jo seekha hota hai kyun mistake se seekha jata hai तो व्हाट व्हाट मैं मैंने दी डू द मिस्टेक तो आप जब भी कुछ करना चाहो तो जितनी मिस्टेक्स होती करो फिर उस पर एक बार रिकेपुलेट करो पढ़ो उसे कि नहीं मैंने कहा भी मिस्टेक्स की है वो मिस्टेक्स फाइंड आउट करो फिर आप करें तो आप करेक्शन याद रहेगा कि मैंने ये मिस्टेक की थी उसमें सो एटोमेटिकली योर मिस्टेक्स विल बी करेक्टेड बट फॉर दिन देर इज वन ऑफ द एक्सरसाइज दट आई कॉन्टेक्ट मोर मोर द टाइम वी आर ऑन द स्टेज देरिंग सो मीर एक्सरसाइज it's a very simple that every every home has a mirror okay so just uh, stand before the mirror look at in the mirror to yourself and read anything jo bhi mirror ke samne humko kya karna hai padhna hai sometimes you can read sometimes you can speak with yourself no uh, what's up uh, first day you can laugh at you uh, your uh, parents <laughs> or your brothers your friends laugh at you so it's not the problem don't think about them try to read क्या कर रहा है आईने के सामने क्या कर रहा है ऐसे बोल सकते हैं हंस सकते हैं आपको सुनकर हंसे की तरफ ध्यान दो तो आप बोलो बिकॉज एक दिन हंसेगी दो दिन हंसेगी तीन दिन हंसे 
उसके बाद में उन्हें पता है कि ये सिर्फ एक्सरसाइज कर रहा है तो वो उसको हंसना आप उसको बंद कर देंगे बंद कर देंगे इसका मतलब क्या होता है अगर आप अगर कंटिन्यू करते हो तो आप एक डेरिंग आ रही है अगर आप वो हंस रहे हैं तो हम बंद कर देते हैं सो यू आर नॉट इंप्रूविंग योर सेल्फ आप में डेरिंग नहीं आएगी ओके सो मेरा एक्सरसाइज इट इज फर्स्ट इट कैन बी इंप्रूव योर आई कॉन्टेक्ट इट कैन मैनेज योर माइंड दैट यू आर स्टैंडिंग बिफोर द मॉ You are standing before the people. You are standing before the others. Automatically, your mind thinking like that. जब आपको ये पता होता है कि नहीं मैं तो आईने के सामने हूँ. But actually, when you are speaking after a month, that time your mind won't be hesitate because it is managing that exercise and it represent like he is standing before the mob and your mind will be support you to speak anything before them. So, इससे क्या होता है कि आपका hesitation जो है remove होगा. पर ये रिमूव एक या दो दिन में नहीं होगा कंटिन्यू आपको एक महीना कम से कम एक महीना मिरर के सामने वो एक्सरसाइज करना है सो मिरर एक्सरसाइज दैट इज वेरी इशेंशियल फॉर रिमूविंग द हेजिटेशन ओके सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो मैं आपको यही बोलना चाहूंगा कि फर्स्ट जितना आप पढ़ सकते हो रीडिंग सेकेंड थिंग वोकेबलरी सो एवरी डे यू टू कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट सम वर्ड्स देन थर्ड थिंग दैट इज मिरर एक्सरसाइज ओके एंड फोर्थ थिंग दैट आई वॉन्ट टू शेयर विद यू For that, whatever you think about yourself, whatever you think about anything, आप इसके बारे में क्या सोचते हो वो आप एक कागज पे लिखा करो चाहे वो गलत हो या सही हो इन इंग्लिश इन इंग्लिश यू कैन राइट आउट एनी थिंग जो भी आप सब कोई आपने इमेजिनेशन कर लिया कोई स्टोरी अगर इमेजिन कर ली तो सोचो कि हम इंग्लिश में कैसे लिख सकते हैं ओके ओके तो चाहे वो गलत हो कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं एक महीना आप गलत लिखोगे कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं पर एक महीना लिखता ही नहीं आदमी ज्यादा ज्यादा आठ दिन लिखता है आठ दिन के बाद में ऑटोमेटिक आपकी जो मिस्टेक्स है वो करेक्ट होना शुरू हो जाती है एज आई टोल यू डू द मिस्टेक एंड एटोमेटिकली योर मिस्टेक्स विल बी करेक्टेड वो कोई नहीं करेगा खुद आप करोगे क्योंकि जब हम खुद को उसमें मिक इन्वॉल्व कर देते हैं तो हमारा माइंड हमारा सेंस हमें अवेयर करता है कि नहीं हमने ये मिस्टेक्स किए तो हमें ये करेक्ट करना है ओके सो वी हैव टू लर्न द लैंग्वेज नेचुरली ये जो मैंने जो आपको भी ये चार जो मेथड्स बताए और जो प्रैक्टिस के लिए टिप्स बताए तो ये नेचुरल 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 सो यू आर एबल टू स्पीक देर इज नो नीड टू लर्न देर इज नो नीड टू लर्न यू नॉट टू नो यू हैव टू लर्न दिस टू सेंटेंस एंड देन यू हैव टू स्पीक नो सर इट्स नॉट देर इज अ लर्निंग जस्ट यू रिपीट इट कंटिन्यूअसली रीड दो स्टेक्स यू आर टंग विल बी हैबिचुएट योर माइंड विल बी हैबिचुएट योर आई कॉन्टेक्ट विल बी इंप्रूव so your state will be good and when your state will be good so you have you are not hesitate anymore and you can present your sentences in english though that is wrong or correct it's not the matter but you are trying to uh, speak before the others yeah and when this hesitation will be good, so you are the well speaker because once you know your ability what you can do so after that you try more क्योंकि जब हमें पता चलता है कि मैं कर सकता हूं आई कैन डू इट सो उसके लिए और ज्यादा ट्राई करते हैं और ज्यादा प्रयत्न करते हैं तो उससे क्या होता है कि हमारी एक आत्मशक्ति बढ़ जाती है और एक बार अगर आत्मशक्ति बढ़ जाती है सो नो वन कैन स्टॉप अस यस सो दिस दिस आर द फोर टिप्स टू द स्टूडेंट्स एंड सो दे कैन यूटिलाइज दिस टिप्स एट देर होम एंड दे विल बी द गुड स्पीकर ऑफ इंग्लिश सो अगेन देर आर सो मेनी टिप्स दैट आई विल शेयर यू विथ यू बट किसी की एक पार अगर पूरा बता दे तो बच्चे नहीं करते एंड दैट्स व्हाई दिस आर द ओनली द फ्यू टिप्स दैट आई वांट टू शेयर विद यू एंड और दर्शकों से मैं यही कहना चाहूंगा कि अगर आप अपने बच्चों को पढ़ाना चाहते हो या ऐसे लगता है आपको कि उन्होंने भी इंग्लिश बोलना चाहिए या आपको लगता है कि आपने भी अच्छी इंग्लिश बोलना चाहिए सो जस्ट फॉलो दिस फोर टिप्स रीडिंग देन ट्राई टू कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट दोकेबलरी कलेक्ट द मोर वर्ड्स एंड कंटिन्यूसली रिपीट इट then mirror exercise you can uh, do the at your home very easily and for thing that write anything take any subject take anything and then try to write in english at least uh, 20 lines so that it will be habituated uh, for your writing and it will improve your imagination so imagination is very important with voice speaking so uh, this exercise i will give you the in detail in the next video तो आप अगर इतना भी करते हो तो आई कॉन्फिडेंटली टोल यू इफ यू आर डूइंग दैट एक्सरसाइज कंटिन्यूअसली सो विद इन मंथ यू आर एबल टू स्पीक इन इंग्लिश ओके ओके सो 
सो आज हमने बहुत सारे टिप्स जाने हैं फुलियर से आगे भी हम जानते रहेंगे सो आगे के वीडियो के लिए प्लीज हमें सब्सक्राइब करें लाइक करें शेयर करें और बहुत से बहुत ही कम समय में आप इंग्लिश बहुत अच्छी तरह सीख सकते हैं सो आई होप यू विल फॉलो आर टिप्स फ्रॉम द फुल सर एंड वी विल अगेन कम विद आर नेक्स्ट एपिसोड विथ विथ द सेम सेम गाय फुल सर सो थैंक यू सो मच फुल सर थैंक यू सर